A family in Carbon County is breathing new life into a building that's been at the center of the community for decades. Newswatch 16's Amanda Eustace shows us the plans for one of the buildings on the former Kovach property in Nesquahoning. Kathy Kovach Riemann has walked the main building here at the former Kovach Mobile Equipment Facility in Nesquahoning for years. First when her father opened and owned the business, and now as the co-owner of the property. My father was exactly, exactly my age when he bought this building to begin with. This facility has always been something for the community and now it's just different for the community. The plant closed in March of 2020 after KME's parent company Rev Group decided to move its fire truck operations elsewhere. Riemann, her husband and their business partner took it as an opportunity to purchase the property and reopen it. But not as a factory. Instead, the building located at the intersection of routes 209 and 54 is being turned into Narrow Valley Sportsplex, a multi-use complex for both recreation and business, offering a space not just for athletes to train, but for everyone in the community. Facilities like this change areas. Mm -hmm. they, they really do. They, they, it's now something to do. The community comes around it. Um, and that's super important. The project's rolling out in several phases. The first one being adding batting cages and turf to this building behind me. Now the second includes moving everything into the main factory area, which will feature variety of basketball and volleyball courts and a track. People here in the community say they're thrilled that this building will not be sitting empty. It's wonderful. I think it's wonderful. It's such a good family and they're still evidently bringing to the community. We just couldn't let it fall. Yeah. We just couldn't let it happen. So um, the voice in my head saying, just keep going, just keep going. And that's kind of exciting. Demolition is already underway on phase one, which is expected to open in the fall. Riemann says not only will it keep the building in the Kovach family, but in the community for years to come. Amanda Eustace, Newswatch 16, Carbon County.